Hey. Hey. I'm gonna put in a good word for you. No, that's okay. Don't mention my name in there. That's why I was surprised to find Mr. Graham's editor was a woman. Call me a sentimental fool, but I sort of hoped we man-eaters could stick together. Anyway, I'm just dropping you big city folk this little note to say that I have thought of a ritual sacrifice that would satisfy my current appetite. Ike Graham's column on a platter. Yours truly, Maggie Carpenter, P.S. I have enclosed a list of the gross factual misrepresentations in your article. There are 15. It's funny. I like her. She's got spunk. Ike, look. She sent us this list. Our lawyers say it's actionable. I left you four messages. You don't return my calls. So? I never returned your calls. Even when we were married, I didn't return. And what's Fisher doing here, anyway? Oh, Ellie asked me to come down to offer moral support. Since when does Ellie need moral support? It's for you, Ike. What? What? Journalism lesson number one. If you fabricate your facts, you get fired. Lesson number two. Never work for your former spouse. That has nothing to do with it. You cook this story up and you I know it. I not cook anything up. I had a source. Someone reliable, some booze hand in a bar. In vino veritas. Hey, hey, hey. Don't knock drunk guys in bars. It means they're not driving. Besides, I am a columnist. This is what columnists are supposed to do. It's what you like. We push, we stretch, we, we go out on a limb. That's what makes me good. No, that's what makes you unemployed. All right, let's consider that, that my wrist has been slapped, all right? There, slap, slap, go ahead. Just slap my wrist. That's done. Just give me a call when, you know, you feel that I've served my time and move on. This is permanent, Ike. If you go quietly, I'll get you severance pay. You won't believe what I'm looking at here. I got a vid. An overpriced apartment and Chinese takeout. That's New York living. Fisher, don't forget the fortune cookies. Oh, I already read the fortune. You, you don't want to know. <sighs> he makes me crazy. Hostility is a very important part of your foreplay, isn't it? <laughs> well, it takes three people to make our marriage work. Him, me, and our therapist. Ellie, what went wrong? With us, with the two of us, I mean. You know, it's been, been a long time. <laughs> but do you remember? Yeah. Do I remember? <laughs> of course I do. Is that what... Did I do the same... Is that what happened? Did I just not see you? No. No, you didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ellie. Oh, I'm sorry, too, Hank. <laughs> wow. That only took us 12 years to say. <laughs> I saw that, you cad. That's right. You got it. Here you go. My dear. Yeah, you want to get your fortune? Let me see what. All right, Confucius say, man who leave wife alone with ex-husband may leave altogether. <laughs> I'll see you at the wedding then, right? I mean, you're going to be there, huh? It's going to 37 hours. I didn't miss the first one. We're going to spend part of the time here in town because he wants to write a book. Well, you always wanted to write a novel. I feel inspired here. I feel, I feel like I can write. I want to write. I keep getting married. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mr. Hey, if you pee on that person, I'm going to kill you. Hi. No microphone. Please put it there. No, no fun. Listen, I was going to do the Scorsese thing where I come down the aisle. Whatever, just do it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ike. Friends! Oh, oh God. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We are friends, aren't we, Fisher? Of course we are. Yes, of course. and you'll be my best man. I'm good, but I'm not sure I'm the best. You just go over and see the pastor, he'll tell you what to do. All right. Someone will tell me what to do. Mm. You always looked great in that suit. And Ike. I'm happy for you, honey. 
I have a car waiting out back for you just in case you decide to run. I have it. Wait! Megan! Go, 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 go. He's running after her. He's in pretty good shape, too. Maggie! No, Maggie! Where do you think she's going? Well, wherever it is, she'll be there by 10.30 tomorrow.